Hello, Matt Glenn here. A uh, video for you, basically doing a oak pallard. This one, it was a dead tree, basically. And the best decision that they could come to, I think, was to uh, pollard it first and just see if it came back, see if it had uh, survived the pollard and see if it had regenerated in any way. To put things into perspective, this job was a pretty grim day. I think we recorded this in January. Um, I was feeling pretty under the weather full of man flu um, yeah, like I say it was a cold grim day and it was wet as well it was over a load of BT lines so you can uh, pause the video as and when you want and you'll be able to see the, the BT lines underneath there's no central anchor point so I was working off uh, three lines actually in, in, a, in a few points and I just wanted to kind of show us dismantling everything and we did it all, rigged everything everything was rigged down but I'm not putting like a soundtrack on it or anything. I just thought I'd show this footage as it is, as a, in its raw state, and also it shows a few conversations with me and the groundsman, deciding which is the best way to do it. With tree work, there's there's so many. Every tree's different, and there's so many different ways of doing things. So obviously, our way might not have been the best way, but you make you make the decision at the time as to what you think is going to work the best. There's no damage. There was no no issues. So I hope you enjoy it anyway. Cheers, thanks a lot. Right, I want to put the pulley about here. A little bit on that. Go below. Do you want me to just wrap it off and go a bit like this floor? Them, uh, them fucked ones you're on about, they were mine then. I brought them in here, do it home dry. got right out there it's still only going to fall down in it 
and he's still going to go, in, he's not going to go in between them two, is it? Let's be honest. You're going to struggle to cut any of that and get it right in the middle of that. It can be quicker to try.